Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, this movie just took me to places I have never, ever been in my life. And I am here to tell you all about it. I'm just so like, oh my God. I feel like this movie has changed my life. I'm not even going to lie. Leo has really, really outdone himself on this movie. And I can't even believe I am this late to the party. I don't know, where have I been? Why haven't I seen this movie sooner? There are a couple of reasons why I haven't seen this movie sooner. Basically, it's just, I didn't, I wasn't able to find it like on certain channel. Every time I, every channel that I had, it's like, it wasn't there or whatever. And I didn't see it at the movie. So I did miss it at the movie. So at any rate, I missed it. I'm late to the party. Don't judge me. I know I'm a huge Leo fan. I can't believe I have not seen this movie until now. But oh my God, I'm kind of glad that I'm just I'm just seeing it now because I feel like I appreciate it that much more. The fact that Leo deserved five Oscars for this and not just one. Oh my goodness, Leo, give him all the awards, please. Leo is just the best, one of the best actors of all time. I don't care what anyone says. This man is so talented. When you watch this movie, you're going to know why Leo won that Oscar. When I tell you any man that can fight with a bear and still come back from that, that's my kind of man, I tell you. Leo is just phenomenal. He is just amazing. Like, I, I can't even, you guys, I can't even come up with the words to explain to you how good this movie was. First of all, I wasn't, I didn't even want to watch this movie. I was on my way to bed. I just saw that it was playing and I said, oh, okay. I saw where it was playing. Where was it playing? Oh, it was, it's actually on Amazon. I saw it. It was on Amazon Prime Video, but it's on, it's called, I watched it through Amazon Prime Video. That's where I watched it. But it's something that's called like Freebie. It used to be IMDB, but now it's Freebie or something like that. I think it's on, It actually it is on there as well. But at any rate, it is called The Revelant. The movie, you guys, I, I can't even, it's like I'm still like sugar. Revenant is the name of it. The Revenant. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Basically, so here, okay, so here's a, here's a quick overview. I don't know how quick it's going to be because it was so good. I'm sure I'm going to be gushing about Leo the whole time I'm talking about this. But okay, so Leo, he looks like a freaking caveman on here. It looks like it took, I don't know when, I, I need I need some to know when this took place. It seems like also it was a true story. It was way before like, man. Okay, so I did, okay, I guess it was like 1823. And so, you know, that was a long time ago. <laughs> That's when it took place. It was like, there was no civilization. It was just, they were like living on the land. It was crazy. And then they were somewhere cold, like freezing cold. It looked like they were in like North Dakota, Minnesota, Alaska, somewhere where it gets really cold in the winter. I could not even believe that. Okay, first of all, it came to my mind. You know when it's cold, it's only so long you can be outside. But they were outside for days and months. And I'm just like, how did they survive, you know, back then being outside like that? But I have to remember it's a movie. Leo is such a good actor. I forget that it's not a true story. It's just a movie. But he has me believing that he was really out there fighting with that bear. And he was out there in the cold, freezing cold. And he almost died, but he came back. And man, it was just so much. This movie took me on a journey. I'm telling you. First, you had Leo. It started out with him and his wife. He was His wife was like this Indian lady. And, you know, he had like a son with her and it showed, you know, it started out like that. And then it, it, it like, then all these crazy uh, events happened. And then he went to be with this, I guess, like a military like group. And there were some shady characters in that group. They were talking about his son because his son was like half Indian. So basically, you know, they were just saying like, like, you know, horrible things about his son, like derogatory things, just trying to like basically taunt Leo because he was, he dated someone that was not, you know, like outside of his race, I guess. And then 
they um well, that little part right there was just like the beginning. I'm saying that because the guy who was doing all this, he is the main shady character. And he is the one that ended up being, oh my God, just terrible. So he was the one that basically he was a hater. Okay. Because everyone liked Leo. Um, well, I want... I shouldn't use the word liked, but everyone seemed to respect Leo because Leo, because of the fact that he was married to a lady who was an Indian, he already knew like the lay of the land. He knew like basically, you know, how to get around and all of that. So everybody was really like depending on Leo to show them how to get around. So the other guy, he was like really jealous because everyone was like, which way should we go? And taking Leo's advice over his. So he got a little bit jealous of that. At any rate, Leo ended up being the Leo was basically the man around there because they didn't know where they were going, the other troops. Um, and so they kind of depending on Leo. Well, Leo was out doing whatever it is that Leo do, you know, like walking around this freaking. I, they were like in the mountains. It just looked so cool. It looked like it was like negative 20. They had ice, you know, like in their beards. It just looked freaking cold. But the main part that everyone heard, I'm sure you've heard about this if you've heard of this movie, he gets into a fight with a bear. Like, and when I say he gets into a fight with a bear, oh my God, that part alone should have gotten him that. That's a that's an Oscar winning performance with him and that bear. I could not believe like what he went through with that bear. I mean, that bear tore him to pieces like it was well not literally the pieces but that bear jacked him up really bad I mean what that bear did to his body I mean I felt the pain I was in pain I mean I could just feel the pain that Leo was in and I just felt like man is he gonna make it it was crazy and then um so he did that with the bear and he ended up having to you know need some help because he had got you know hurt so bad by this bear and he ended up getting his um they end up getting some troops to help him and his son. And that's where you guys will see the shadiness come when they were supposed to be helping Leo. Because Leo was bedridden. Of course, you know, you get, you you go, you fight with a bear. He went toe to toe with this bear and the bear was like really on him. Like it was crazy. But after that, you know, of course he was laid up. So there were supposed to be people helping him. They were so, well, one of the guys was so freaking shady. Um, it shows that. And then basically after that, it's funny because I'm going to tell you what the way I'm describing this, guys, it probably seems like, because I, I, I can't give you the words to do this justice. All I can tell you is to watch it. That's all I can do. I'm here to do you this favor to tell you to watch this movie because it's so good. Leo, everyone knows Leo is a fan, phenomenal actor, but he really outdid himself in this movie. Literally, he turned into a caveman, not even a caveman, but whatever, a man from back in the 1800s living on the, you know, like wild, living out in the wild. Like they have parts where they are eating animals. Like there was like an animal. Okay, I'll give an example. There was some kind of animal, like this big animal, like a boar or I'll say like a moose or something. I don't know, like this huge animal. And so some coyote looking things came and took the animal down. And it shows where, you guys, it's so gross. It shows where Leo and this other dude are literally, you guys, eating, like cutting a piece of the meat out of the animal. And it's like red and it looks like, ugh, it just looks horrible. I'm a vegetarian, so it really seems gross to me. But they're just like eating this meat raw like savages like it was like oh my god but it was just man it was because they were hungry like they didn't have anything they were really out there in the wild like this is how they were living back then no food it was just them and you know nature so and then it was so cold i don't think they even really had time i mean i think they were so hungry they didn't even worry about making a fire because it was cold the wind was blowing they just had to eat so they ate the meat and it was just raw. It was just crazy how they were living, like all those parts. But it's just, it's mind boggling to me because Leo, every time he, he like got an inch, something would set him back a mile. Like he was trying his best to get back to get revenge on this guy who had done him wrong. 
and basically everything was in his way there was like indians there like coming out this was back in the day of course when there was indians on the land and they were fighting with the indians so it was like well leo wasn't but you know like the other troops were and so they were like coming after him you know and he had to hide from them he i mean he went through so much one time he fell like down this waterfall thing it was like crazy the the water was like going so fast and he was like falling down these trenches like things it was weird man and then also he um he had already like basically been fighting with the bear the bear tore him up he was already broke down you know and then so he was trying to run from i think it was the this was one part when he was trying to run from the indians he ended up falling out of a tree like he fell off a cliff and then you know, like he hit a tree and then fell all the way down like many feet and it was just like man this man is really going through it so this movie is just whoever did the cinematography, basically whoever directed this movie is a freaking genius because the way they show like the close ups and the angles and just like when he was on that water, uh, when he was fall falling down that water, like, I don't know if it was a waterfall. I don't know what it's called, but it was like, it looked kind of like a waterfall and then like a, it, it was like a creek like thing, but with a lot of water going really, really, really fast, like rapids. Maybe that's what it is, like rapids of water. It was just going so fast. But when they showed him falling down that, man, it was like you felt like you were there right by him because, like, the water was splashing. They just did a great job directing it. The director was amazing. This film, I've never seen anything like this. The di directing, oh, my God, the acting. And even the, um, I'm talking about Leo. Leo was perfect in this movie that's it he was perfect there was nothing else he could have done he did it all he was just perfection but the other actors were amazing as well like they did such a great job adapting to that time like back in the 1820s and you know being outside like living um like they were outside like in the wilderness and they did such a good job playing that role i'm just like oh my god and then one time i had seen an interview and leo was talking about how they were actually out there in the cold like that like all that stuff like they were in the elements he was talking about how hard it was to make that movie which is funny because you know what every time there's a movie and it's hard to make like that a lot of times people get oscars and they <laughs> and it's like they deserve it because they went through so much to just you know play those roles and you know they almost like i mean gosh out there in the elements like that alone i mean i'm sure he was saying he did mention that it was really 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 cold and it looked cold i mean yeah but at any rate this movie is one of the best movies i've ever seen like i want to watch it again like just sitting here talking to you about it, I literally want to put it on and watch again because I know because it was so good. Dude, I was literally, literally, literally going to bed and I just happened to see that it was showing. And I said, and something, I just I couldn't help but to click it. I said, you know what? I'm just going to watch the first five minutes. I just want to see what it's all about. Just kind of see because I've heard of the movie, but I didn't. I heard about the bear fight. And I, of course, I've heard of this movie. And I've heard people talk about it. I don't, like I said, it's so weird that I haven't seen it, but I mean that I hadn't seen it. But like I said, I'm happy that I hadn't seen it because this movie came to me at the exact right time in my life. I just feel that everything that I saw in this movie, it just did something to my life. It was almost like a reset. And that's just how deep this movie was watching it. And, you know, it just was such a special film. Because it just showed to me like drive and persistence and just how certain things are important, certain things aren't. And just it was just a humbling experience to watch this. And it also made me have even more respect for Leonardo DiCaprio as an actor. I listen, this man is literally my favorite actor hands down i mean i for me he is the best actor period there is no one else the way he can morph into 
all these different roles. And if you watch his movies, one thing about him, there is no typecasting. You can't typecast this man. He has done multiple, multiple parts, and they've all been better and better and better than the next. It was like, it's like crazy, like how he always levels up and how he always just plays different characters. Like a lot of actors, yeah, they do good, but they're playing the same, same type of character. You know, it's like, oh yeah, you can depend on them to play the hunky guy or, you know, the villain or, you know, whatever. But Leo is so diverse. Like he can just do so much. I just, I, there's so much more I can say, but I don't want this video to go on too long. I just cannot believe what he gave us in this film. This man is someone, and I've said this before, he was born to act. This is what he was put here to do. Because what he gave, he doesn't have, he didn't have to make another movie after this. And he would have been, went down as the goat. But of course he's done many movies after this movie, but and they were great as well. But I'm just saying in general, that movie was, oh my God, I, he really went there. And it's funny because I'm going to close with this. I remember I saw him on an interview. I don't know if he, I think he was there, but when they were doing the whole tour for um, Hollywood, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, he was with Brad Pitt and him. And I remember Brad Pitt said, he really goes there. You know, like he really, really goes there. And, you know, that is a good way to put it. Leo just goes there. He does not hold back. He gives, he leaves everything on the table for us. He gives it to us. And that's why when you watch his film, when he, when anytime you watch a Leonardo DiCaprio film, be ready to be entertained, be ready to have high quality acting, a superb performance and appreciate the art because what this man gives is something that you just do not see in other films i mean he just man I, I, i'm in awe and i love movies i love movies but i also am particular about the movies i watch because i feel like my time is valuable so when i watch a movie that leo is in i feel like i've invested my time wisely and I'll just close there. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to let me know what you think about the movie. It's The Revenant. And it stars none other than Leonardo DiCaprio. Peace.